So this is going to be video one of two today. Um, because, you know, I don't want the first and, and only video back in a week to be just like me bitching about my life. Um, but I figure I owe y'all an explanation. Um, and a broader one that I posted to Twitter. Now, you saw the title. You know what happened. And you probably have surmised uh, which sick I got. But, um, basically, I didn't want to say it on Twitter until I was sure. And I didn't want to say it on Twitter until I was ready to come back. You know, um, so I didn't want to say it in any format, but basically, yeah, I, I got, I got the coof. Um, like I, I, I didn't want to just jump the gun and say that, um, when I wouldn't have known for sure. Um, but it was pretty obvious when I started to, uh, lose my sense of smell and, uh, and taste. Now, those are fortunately pretty much back. Um, a lot of people have a, a lot harder time with it than I did. And uh, I, I sort of attribute the same um, sort of faster recovery arc in that regard uh, that I had to the reason that I didn't have the coof for like the, the two and a half plus years that this, you know, edition has been out. Um, because basically, uh, I, I think I just take reasonable care of myself most of the time. And that that's why I could bounce back from it. But, um, you know, I ain't perfect. And... Basically, for days, I watched everybody in my house get it, um, and waited to, you know, be the, be the last one to get it, and, uh, then my landlord shows up, uh, to talk to one of the people who had it, and, uh, I encouraged him to get on Signal, um, and coming out of my room in order to do that, exposed me to it because he said that he had it and that it took him out for a couple days, you know, and that it was, you know, he, he, he got tested, he had it. Um, and I thought, you know, well, shit, I, I hope that's not what eventually causes me to get it. But that evening, that Monday evening, last Monday, uh, <laughs> I started to feel the beginning sorts of symptoms of being ill. And I was like, fuck. So I, I knew it. I knew it was happening. And it fucked up my sleep. Now, I need a certain amount of sleep as the unmedicated bipolar person I am. And... Th the fact that I didn't get that level of sleep meant basically, um, I was, and, and I mean, I would fall asleep for like five minutes and then wake up in a delirious panic. Um, and, and like, I, I would have like these, these short bursts. Of, I was following this like argument between like this huge group of people who I had never met, um, and just generally, like, every time I would dip back into the dream, I would be solving another component of their problems, um, but, like, I, I don't remember anything about their problems at all at this point, and I don't remember anything, um, about the dream, basically, I just remember it was weird and disjointed, and that eventually I solved their shit. But it was only after, like, you know, I, I'm not exaggerating when I say, like, maybe a hundred times waking up. Uh, 
and, and it was waking up in this in this extreme sweat and uh like it it didn't help that it's already like hot season and I don't sleep well normally but like add the the heat to it and then add covid and it's like <laughs> yeah I'm fucked so I did that and then I couldn't function the next day basically I needed a lot of naps on both Tuesday and Wednesday. I was planning on going for a really long run on Tuesday. Uh, people in my Discord probably knew that. But that didn't end up happening because I just ended up sleeping a lot. And I didn't want to alarm anyone. I didn't want to make it seem like jumping to a conclusion, diagnostically speaking, uh, was my excuse for not doing anything. But I was pretty fucked up. So I just tried to eat what I could. Um, I can't afford medicine. I couldn't afford to go to a doctor if I wanted to. And I don't have insurance. Um, you know, I'm, I'm well below poverty. <laughs> and, and to add insult to injury, you'll notice I am in a kitchen chair with one of these fucking lumbar pil pillows from an office chair because my actual uh, gaming chair uh, finally decided to explode. And I'm not exaggerating. Apparently they call it explosion. This is a common trend among cheap fucking chairs. And so I'm going to save this, this part here. And I'm going to save... Um, like the leg part because basically you just screw on the leg parts to this but I, I need to get a hammer or a rubber mallet or something so that I can get this off safely um and and not damage it because I tried with some other methods and it didn't work so but basically this was the bottom of the chair and it just broke as as, as you can see so Basically, those of you who watched uh, my Twitter uh, know the situation already. So, um, that broke off this. And it started to crack and, and fuck up the seat entirely. And I knew it was going to break eventually. But I thought maybe, you know, I had a little bit more time. Either way, like, they, they, they gave me half my money back. And while that seemed insulting, um, it's, it's a nearly year old chair. It's still within the warranty, though. Like, it's still within the year that they said that they would replace the parts. But apparently they don't make this chair anymore. So they said that they won't replace the parts. So basically... When it eventually exploded and launched me onto the floor, um, I was frustrated and I talked about it on Twitter and the Amazon guy who like was tasked with responding to all the social media jive uh, for a moment uh, came up and said that I should ask about an A to Z guarantee. So I did that. Uh, thinking it was a flail in the dark, and what do you know, it was a flail, because apparently the A to Z guarantee was not for something that was fulfilled by Amazon, and apparently this chair was. So that's fun. Um, so this chair was fulfilled by Amazon, but I was still previously required to contact the seller personally. That seems like a weird discrepancy. But I, I did it, you know, I, I contacted Amazon a second time, like I was requested, requested to see if like maybe there's like some A to Z guarantee that I could get. And it turns out, no, the A to Z guarantee is for a different type of product that's filled by a third party. Um, and that this, since this one was fulfilled by Amazon and they like... The, the seller refused to give me more than half and literally got indignant and personal 
when I came back because I was launched onto the floor by a chair. Um, they gave me 35 in promotional credit. <laughs> <coughs> so, ain't we got fucking fun? I'm sick. I have, uh, you know, uh, a sleep deficit, and I get launched onto the floor, and it's not even Thursday. Um, well, I mean, I, I think it was past Thursday when I finally got launched. I, it's, the details are fuzzy. The point is that the week sucked. And so, I get, you know, basically the same level of fatigue as the week, uh, would give me, uh, all week. And I, and I need to loosely sleep all week um, until I can eventually afford the energy to go for a short run to get some a small amount of provisions like thirty dollars worth of groceries um, and so I come back um, from this you know and and, and I'm still trying to figure out how to smell again, like to smell everything fully because everything tastes like fucking poison and it makes me not want to eat. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm looking up all these things about how to do like aromatherapy and shit. So I get this like really strong barbecue sauce that was only a dollar. And I think that really helped because it had like some red pepper and vinegar and shit in it. And it was strong enough that I could smell the red pepper and vinegar. And I think that, combined with <laughs> constantly smelling my Axe fucking deodorant uh, and a variety of seasoning containers. Because uh, what they tell you to do in aromatherapy to regain your sense of smell is they tell you to remember how it used to smell. And I was like... Well, that shouldn't be hard. It's fucking hard. It's hard to isolate what a smell is. You know? Like, you can sort of think about taste, maybe. But smell is, is a whole nother ball of wax. And this was that. So, it was, it was a challenge. It was a challenge, but I think I've got my sense of smell pretty much back. Which is good, because I hated it. I hated so much every day eating food. And I started to lose mass. I wasn't working out. I wasn't eating. I was falling into a depression. I still don't know where rent is coming from, etc. You know, I don't know where uh, expenses are. I, you know, I'm going to get this chair new parts. Because even though I hate it and I resent the people who made it, um, I can't afford a new chair. Especially not with the amount that, that was given to me. Um, so, you know, I fell into a depression. And that meant that even the past, like, couple days when I probably could have been making content, I was just sort of getting back the gumption to make more content. Because, like, I don't know if I'm going to make it into August in terms of rent and shit. So lovely life uh, below poverty with no health insurance and a pandemic that finally caught up to me after years. I still think that, you know, the fact that I didn't, I don't drink, I don't do hard drugs, you know, I don't really do soft drugs anymore. Like, I'm, I'm sober and clean. And I try to eat right and stay hydrated normally. I think all of that is probably what kept me from actually having a significantly worse time. Um... Because I, I can't afford monoclonal antibodies and ivermectin like Joe Rogan. You know, I can't 
uh, afford a, a, a doctor in clinical therapy. And I will be damned if I'm going to get the same shot that my grandparents took within such a short period of time of dying. Um, I'm not going to do that because it would go against everything I believe. Not to mention the fact that the test itself is like hundreds of dollars. And I don't have that. Like, it's a, it's a real problem in America, being below poverty level. If y'all want to throw money, I, I'm not going to say no. And I'm going to try to make it worth it by putting out content and shit. Um, but, like, I thought I owed you an explanation for the radio silence. Because I was all, like, gung-ho and I was coming back and I was doing videos every day. And, you know, then it just sort of... So, now y'all know, uh, you know, I, I had a good workout for the past three days, and I've been eating better, and I've been getting my gains back, like, I, I showed, uh, one other person knows that I'm, that, that I've been ill, uh, one other person, and, and she said, like, I don't look bad, she said that the, the loss of muscle, uh, is is pretty much just in my head and you know i still look fine i don't know about that i don't know but what i do know is that i'm back now um and not likely to move uh if i can <laughs> if i can get uh enough you know for expenses and shit but basically all of that is what happened that's what happened to my last uh several uh, days, um, and why content has been slim again, so I'm gonna put out another video, uh, after this one, but I, I wanted to get this one out there first, um, in order to explain that, uh, cause, <laughs> yeah, um, I, th I feel like y'all were owed an explanation, uh, especially those who have been financially supporting what I do. Uh, basically, I needed to take some sick days, and there were some... I'll tell you, the funniest thing was... Um, there was this time when I was like getting up from one of my naps, and I was going to try to get something done. Um, and then... I felt my world closing off around me and like this sort of dull and lightheadedness sort of come around my head to a focus point. <coughs> and <clears throat> this focus point started to hurt. I started to feel like nails were bringing, you know, like those hand toys where you press the nails through. It was like that, but the nails were on the other side and they were poking into my face, just like all from, it was like that, the, the Hellraiser demon, uh, just like, like an Iron Maiden, just like fucking scab bab into my face. Um, and so that wasn't good, but what was funny was I didn't expect it to feel like nails. Like, I, I, I got the occasional, like, little bursty hoos of, like, pain in various things, like, especially my hands. And what I figure is that that's the cardiovascular symptoms of this, is that they, they, were, they were really attacking the cardiovascular system and causing, like, like uh, sclera and, like, you know, s scratching things up. And so when I got up, the blood pressure uh, caused this thing to sort of like balloon and sort of queeb and just like, yeah, it was, it was not fun, you know, and, and it felt like I was going to pass out and like sort of fall forward into this weird face pain. It wasn't fun, but it was kind of funny because I was sitting there thinking like, y you got to be kidding me. This is, this is from Koof. You know, it seemed too absurd, a, a, a type of pain. Anyway, point is that, like, I had a weirdly difficult, delirious past week, and there is your explanation. So, 
I'm going to get uh, more content out there for you now and try to avert my homelessness because that is my new challenge. There's always something.